Howdy there folks, this is Dan Bell with Intrigen and today's video in getting started with Project Online is focusing on turning on the notifications in Project Web App. Notifications are, they can be really helpful, right? So if you're a project manager and you wanna be notified when your team member has submitted updates to tasks on the project, they can be helpful because you'll know they're there waiting for you to look at them, review and approve them. Um, they can also be helpful for team members if you wanna be notified if tasks or the assignments on tasks um, have changed, therefore affecting when you need to start, when you need to finish them, um, you know, impacting your allocation, right? So uh, pretty important stuff. Let's go ahead and look at, first of all, you know, where is the setting to turn it on? Well, you have to either navigate you know, on the homepage in Project Web App here. You can use either server settings if you've added it to the quick launch in the left navigation, or you can click on settings and then PWA settings. Either one gets you to the same location. And then in the operational policy section, there's additional server settings. You click on that. And then toward the bottom of the page, you can see there's notification email settings. Determine whether users can subscribe to alerts and reminders. It's currently deselected. We'll go ahead and select that, turn on notifications, and then click save. And once we do that, you'll notice in the personal settings section, there are now two new links here, manage my alerts and reminders, and then manage my resources alerts and reminders. Let's take a quick look at each one of those and see how they are set and how they function. Now in my alerts and reminders, uh, and we're just gonna focus on the first section, the task session, right? So there's a status report and a queue job failure section. Not really interested in the status reports. That's functionality, it's not super helpful in project line but uh, let's talk about tasks create task alerts and reminders to help you work better so in the very top task alerts send me an email notification alert immediately when i receive new task assignments on my projects well that could be a good thing right you're newly added to an assignment in a project you may want to be notified of that the other condition is when my tasks are modified therefore if the start date is pulled in closer you know instead of starting two weeks from now starting one week from now uh, those could be good things to be notified of there are also other task reminders you can set up that you see aren't set up by default and if you look through these if some some you might find helpful some maybe not send me a reminder before the task starts amount of time before sending the reminder one and then increments of days weeks months right so you can obviously make that five days five weeks five months whatever you want uh, that's one option send me a reminder before my tasks are due amount of time before it's due send the email reminder you know again an interval uh not an interval but a, a number and then days weeks months continue to send them until you know again so there's a lot of flexibility there send a reminder about incomplete tasks send the reminder you know, every so often until the task is complete, right? Uh, send me a reminder when tasks are overdue, amount of time task is overdue before sending a reminder. Is it one day overdue, 10 days overdue, 10 months overdue? Uh, so you get the point. There's lots of options here. You probably consider using discretion because the more reminders you get, you may after a while just get sick of seeing them and decide to either uh, maybe come back here and shut them all off or just filter them to your right junk folder, whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna stick with the defaults and therefore click cancel. And what we'll do next is take a quick look at the manage my resources alerts and reminders here. And when we look at this, just consider for a second here what this says. It says my team members tasks. Well, what does that mean? Well, here's what it means. Create task alerts and reminders to help you work better. A team member refers to anyone assigned to tasks within a project you own. Again, referring to the project manager. I am managing a project. <clears throat> I have on the project resources that are assigned to tasks. When do I want them to get alerts? Well, when I submit new tasks and assignments, probably a good thing. When I reassign tasks from one resource to another, again, probably a decent thing. And then when I update tasks. So those are pretty all, you know, pretty common ones, and that's why they're selected by default. These ones, again, are similar to the ones we showed you in the set my alerts and reminders. <clears throat> again, if, if the, if the uh, reminder before they're due, the amount of time before they're due to send the reminder, and again, send the email to me, send the email to my team members, send them to me and my team members. Again, you get the hint here, right? There's a lot of capability here for sending a lot of different reminders. Send a reminder when my team members has her overdue amount of time overdue before sending it. Who do you want to send the reminders to? Me, my team members, me and my team members. And then lastly, you know, send a reminder when my team member task has been in progress, but has no actual work. So meaning the start date is passed, but there's no actual work. What's going on? Again, send the email to me, my team members or my team members and me. I'm not going to cover the rest of these because they're not used nearly as often. I'm just focusing on those. We're going to stick with the defaults 
let's show you how these work. What I'm going to do is create a very simple project. We're going to connect to my demo instance here called Project Request. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start with a blank project. Just keep it easy. And we'll call this my alert test task. And what I'm going to do is make it a five day duration. I'm going to build my team here. And I'm going to add me to the team. Keep it simple. And I'm going to go ahead and I like to make mine auto regardless of the fact that it's a demo project. Assign me to the task. Five day task, Monday through Friday. And let's go ahead and publish that. File info publish. We'll give it a name. Demo 101. Click save. And if you watch here the status area, you can see synchronizing data, right? Information is being refreshed, saved 0%, published 0%, and then it'll go to 100%. You also notice that I have Outlook open here. <coughs> um, we should see a the fact that there's unread email there momentarily the publisher will have to finish completely before that takes place however we will see that uh, very soon uh, that there will be an email there and if you look there shows that we have unread email we click on that there and it says hello here's the latest schedule uh, changes to your project alert demo 101 and again this is as the team member right team member being assigned task you have been assigned to the following task Task name alert, test task. Starts the 27th, ends the 3rd, 40 hours, because it's a five day task. I didn't specify anything other than uh, max units on that. <clears throat> See more details or update these assignments by visiting your tasks page. So uh, if I click on this link, it's going to go to the tasks page in Project Web App, where I can actually review this information. So I can see here is the grid where I could look at the amount of time, you know, if I had entered time, it would show up here. But since this is uh, set up to select and enter percent complete, I would have to enter the time there. If I want to see what the plan time is, I could tick the checkbox and say, oh, okay, well, there's what's planned, right? The total period total is 40 hours planned, eight hours a day, five days. If I were to say, well, let's submit 50% on this. What the tool is going to do is assume it starts on whatever the start date is specified, that being the 27th. 50% would be 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it should go 20% there. I'm going to click save. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, now what I can do is I can send status for this. And what's going to happen is since I am also the approver, uh, being the project manager, right, I will get a notification saying that this task has been submitted by the team member. Click on this link in this notification to review and approve it. And there is the notification. Hello, the following task has been updated. Alert test task, alert demo assigned to Dan Bell. Start, finish, work 40 hours, remaining work 20. That's because we updated percent complete to 50%. Visit the approvals page to see more details and take action. If I click on the link here, the approvals, takes me right to where the approvals are in here. I do usually like to group this by project. And that way, when I come in here, I can see each project and then all the updates contained within. So again, it's the alert demo project here. We'll go ahead and turn that out. Um, <clears throat> usually what you see here is you can look for items in red that were changed by the team member. That was changed by the team member to 50%. This was changed, yes, but it was changed as a result of the calculation based on the change by the team member. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is exit out of the project. Do we wanna check it in? Yes. Exit out of the project. I like what I see, 50% complete. Everything looks good, we'll click accept. Go ahead and click okay. Now there's processing going on behind the scenes. Therefore, if I was to uh, reopen this project at this point in time, and I will go ahead and click here. And there's my alert demo 101. Open the project up. Now you can see in the Gantt, there's a solid bar in the middle of the larger blue bar that represents the progress done on the project so far. If we wanna look at the actual progress here, we can put actual work there. There's the 20 hours. And uh, there basically is setting up notifications in Project Web App. Hopefully you'll learn something from this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for tuning in and watch for a subsequent video in the Getting Started with Project Online series. Have a wonderful day.